Good morning, and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Dave Powers, and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the different attachments that Shack and First is able to uh, supply for you for different situations. I want to show you how to temporize not only the, uh, the, the mini dental implants, but also the true lock abutments. It's very important we see these things to help temporize. I'm getting a lot of guys calling in, a lot of, do a lot of you docs calling in about how to temporize these different types of fixed prostheses, and I want to help you out by showing you right here. The first thing I want to use is how to use the true lock abutment. The true lock abutment comes in two different sizes. They're the tall, slim, and the short fat. Usually the short fat ones are used in the posterior where they have limited interocclusal space, and the tall, slim ones are used in the anterior to give you more clinical crown length. These are both preppable. You can prep these once they're placed. They are snap fit onto the mini dental implant, and the square, the flat area on the face of the true lock abutment lines up with the square of the mini dental implant. So you wanna make sure you line those up and then snap them into place. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to get in, but once you snap them in, they're on there pretty good, and then we don't wanna to have to take them off again. So what we do to temporize these is we place a large one-piece shim over the top of the true lock abutment after you prep it or if it's, you leave it the same way it is, and then we pancake composite filling material over the top of the shim and the implant. And you shape the tooth to look like, if it's number nine, to make it look like number nine and polish it up, check the occlusion, and that's all you need to do. When the patient returns, you can do one of two things. You can either cut the temporary in half and pop it off, just like you would a regular crown, or you can remove it by just getting the spoon excavator up underneath the margin and popping it right off. It comes off very easily. That way the, te the abutment is exposed and you're able to go ahead and place your permanent crown. To temporize on an, a mini dental implant with the ball and square, what we're able to do is we're able to take one of the healing caps, with the, the white healing caps, we're able to actually press fit that right down onto the ball and square. And after you do that, you're able to take some composite and actually just pancake it over the top of that healing cap and shape it into a shape of a tooth, light cure it, and then I'll take my fine finishing burrs and I'll basically shape this tooth to go over that healing cap. Adjust your bite and that's your temporary. When the patient returns, you basically can take a spoon excavator and lift that healing cap right off along with the temporary and you have your temporary aside and you'll be able to cement your crown right after that. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for joining us on this week's Monday Morning Minute. We'll see you again next time. Good morning, I'm Fitz. I want to talk to everyone about our upcoming courses. Our next course here in Buffalo is an advanced course, which is on March 10th, 11th, and 12th. On the 10th and 11th, we're going to have lecturers from the International Academy of Mini Dental Implants do some lecturing. We're going to also have Dr. Shacking doing live surgery. And our, in our advanced courses, he likes to do more complex cases. So if you'd like to see live surgery, Dr. Shacking in his element, please come out to Buffalo in March to our advanced course. And on the 12th, which is Saturday, Dr. Samuel Shacken will be teaching dentists on how to place Botox. We just had a course down in Orlando in December, and it was an absolute wonderful course. Very, very educational. So if, you're, if you have the slightest interest in learning how to calm down that masseter muscle, this is the course for you. And then we'll have an introductory course on April 7th and 8th right here in Buffalo. Then we're going out to Salt Lake City, Utah to the Utah Dental Association meeting. It's the UDA, it's a phenomenal dental show. And Dr. Shacken will be performing live surgery on Friday, April 1st. So we'll be there on March 31st and April 1st. We're gonna have a booth, so come by and say hello if you're out in that neck of the woods. And then on May 5th and 6th, we'll be in Lake Tahoe. We want, we want our doctors from the middle part of the country and the west coast to be able to come to one of our courses when we do the traveling out there. So Lake Tahoe is a very, very beautiful place. If you haven't been out there, you gotta go check it out. And we'll have two days, the 5th and 6th of May, which will be excellent educational uh, mini dental implant courses. So try to come out to that one if you can. And don't forget about our International Academy of Mini Dental Implant Symposium this year. It's gonna be held on August 4th and 5th in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. It is going to be two days 
full of mini dental implant education and mono implant education. So make it a point to put this on your calendar and come see us in Washington. And I hope everyone has a phenomenal week placing mini dental implants. If you have any questions, 1-888-4-SHACKEN or visit us on our website at shackenfirst.com.